Good afternoon, ladies and germs. Today's lesson, we are going to cover resumes or CVs for you European and South American folks. As far as South America is concerned, I got a friend down there, Gabriel. You already know what this stuff is. Uh, the other people I know down there, uh, you likely don't know anything about a resume or CV, so get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about resumes. What are resumes or CVs? Anytime I say resume, if you're from Europe or from whatever country you're in that doesn't use resume, substitute in CV, okay? This ain't freaking little kid school. I don't want to hold your hand. So it, you can mix and match these. You can use them forwards, backwards, front, right, whatever. Okay, it's the same crap. Okay, so today we're talking about resumes. Um, and I'm going to talk about the other side of resumes, which means the way that uh, potential employee should look at these. Okay, so let me explain to you how the company doing the hiring looks at these things. Okay, so we got a resume here. Okay, but you know what? We'll put CV under here too. So we got a resume slash CV, curriculum vitae. Woo! Okay, so. The corporate people doing the hiring, they want to see mainly two things. What is your education level and what kind of job history do you have? Who is your daddy and what does he do? So the first branch off of here is, is education, all right? Branch number one, education. Okay, so branch number one off a of resume is education. The potential company is wanting to look for what is your college degree? Do you have the necessary qualifications? Are you smart enough? If, if something like that even freaking exists. Is this potential hire? Do they have the right degree? Are they qualified? Do they have any advanced degrees? Say that I'm applying at a company. I have a business degree. Woo! Business degree. Corporate people love this. Corporate people love guys and gals that get college business degrees so we got business administration we got business finance we got business management we got human resources we got accounting and my all-time favorite boo, economics now i'm not going to go through each one of these uh, degrees and shred it to pieces so let me just do economics a favor because they're my least I, I don't respect them at all if you know anything then you know that economist economics uh, at a fundamental basis says that they can predict the future. Nobody can predict the freaking future. So get the crap out of here with that. I don't want to hear your predictions. I don't want to hear anything you say. If you're stupid enough to go get an economics degree, and I'm sorry if you have an economics degree, but you better renounce it. You can write it, put it, post a comment or a like or a, a dislike and tell me why you got an economics degree. Uh, and then we can have a discussion from there. Economics prides itself on predicting the future and I pride myself on saying you can't predict the future. The degree is useless. You wasted your money as you will with any other business major and I'm sorry. I'm sorry you're having to learn things the hard way. Okay, great. I got a, I got a business degree too. I'm not proud of it, but I have one. Hey, but hindsight's 2020, and it's time to wake up and realize you wasted money that you could have learned from a freaking book for five cents at the local library. Whatever. I don't even remember the freaking quote. I had brain surgery, so my memory's kind of faulty. But, 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 I had these views way before I had brain surgery. So it's not something like, oh, this, this dude's crazy. He had surgery, and now he comes out squawking all kinds of freaking conspiracy stuff. No, I had these beliefs long ago back. So they're gonna look at your education. Perfect candidate for corporate America is somebody that's got a business degree. Why is that? Number one, you're showing everybody that you don't have a brain. Uh, second thing is, is that you're showing that you'll go into debt for something stupid. Third thing it shows is that you'll do stupid work for years on end in, in return for a piece of paper. You passed all the steps to corporate America, baby. You'll likely get into corporate America somewhere if you pass all these steps. If you go and, in, and jump up another level and you get an advanced degree, like a LOL degree, or a lawyer degree, or a MBA, man, your chances are getting better and better, baby. You'll likely get into corporate America somewhere that takes everything the company knows about business majors in college undergraduates and it puts them on steroids and says, all right, not only am I dumb enough to go, go into debt for a piece of paper, but I'm willing to go six figures into debt 
for a degree that's not even a PhD or something that will really make money. I will do it for something freaking idiot can do. Why does a company like this stuff? Because companies like to see people that fit their mold. And the mold is a person that will sit at the desk in a cubicle, typing on keys on a keyboard for years, for 20, 30 years. The same shit every day. That's what they want. This is just a litmus test. If you've done these things, you jump through these hoops. Well, I hope you didn't get an advanced degree. And if you did, I hope it was a PhD or you're a doctor. I got So long, man. Have a good breath. Fuck you! <laughs> Want a job, Ernie? Sure, Tony. Okay, then you call me tomorrow. Hey, man, you got a job. Huh? Hey, Tony. Thanks. Mad respect for you. But if you went the other way and did a law degree or MBA, like, man, it's time to f wake the heck up. If you want to have a discussion or you want to debate this, by all means, I will debate you. Post in the comments and I will debate you. I'm on YouTube almost every day, so please feel free to uh, tell me what you think. Okay, so that's kind of it for the education, the college part. There are other business majors and I will say this. Anybody that does math, physics, or goes into biology or medicine, I think an undergraduate degree in any one of those is just completely awesome and I love you and I hope you make the world a better place. It's the other stuff that I have a problem with. We, we actually should all have a problem with it. So that's education. The second thing your company is going to want to see is your job history. Your job history. By job history, your company means how long has this person been employed? Do they have a consistent work history? Have they ever been fired? Do they jump around from job to job? Do they have any gaps in their employment? And the reasons there pretty much mirror those in education. They're wanting to see how risky a person is. All companies will say, oh, it costs $50,000 to train a new employee. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but they always say some some kind of garbage like that. Oh, they want to see if it's worth the risk. So you lower your risk factors by staying steadily employed. The more years you stay with the same company, the better. Why? Well, it shows them that you're applying to, to get a job with, that you are willing to accept money in exchange for wasting your time. The way I look at it is, is that you'll accept really small amount of money to waste your life because that's all you're doing at a company working for somebody else. You're wasting your life. You're not building anything. You're not learning anything. I mean, again, typing, typing words into Excel, typing a Microsoft document. No, you won't type a Microsoft document. What are we talking about? You won't type a Microsoft document. Loggers, Corporate lawyers don't even type documents. They just reuse the same crap they had 50 years ago and change the names in it. That's it. Even corporate lawyers don't type documents. Why? Because they're idiots. When companies want to hire a law firm, oh, no, no, no. When cor corporate America wants a lawyer, do you think they go to the in-house lawyers? <laughs> No. They hire somebody from outside that actually knows what they're doing to do this stuff for them. That's another story. Okay, you see where I'm going. They want to see the people that have been in a job for multiple years, consecutive years without getting fired and being at a job steady. Why? Because this shows the company, the person who has been steadily employed is an obedient dog. Sorry for my language. This isn't meant to offend you. This is meant to open your eyes, which you need to open your eyes if, if this is all kind of new to you. It signifies to the company that you are a obedient dog, or as I prefer to say, it shows them that you are a slave, willing to do whatever it takes to remain employed at the company. Companies will dangle this over your head like this. The sad story that happens as a result of all this is you'll wind up getting too old to do anything about it, and you'll be the one sitting there with the fat belly at the desk, fat butt, making the same old excuse that everybody makes, which is, why well, I, I can't do anything anymore because I, I gotta send my kids to school. That's a cop out, that's BS, and that is a total excuse. Uh, enough of that though. So we got education. 
and we got job history. That's what a resume and a curriculum vitae explore. It's for the companies to figure out and to separate people into two groups. Those who are obedient dogs and those who aren't. We all know the true fact. And the true fact is this. The people that get stuff done in this world that make a, a huge change are the people that break the rules. They're not the people that color inside the lines. They're not the corporate employees. You never, corporate employees don't get rich. People don't change the world by sitting in a cubicle. People don't even put a dent in anything sitting in a cubicle, coloring inside the lines. And we can all agree on something. The people that make, a, make changes in the world, the people that make the great changes, the people that invent things that are positive and that have a big effect on a lot of people, they're the people that break the rules. They're not the people that color inside the line because they're scared of getting in trouble or they're, they're scared their credit score might go down or they're scared their boss got, might make, get mad. They're the people that don't freaking care about that. And I don't care about it. I never have. That's why when I quit my job, I straight up threw, threw a napkin at my boss and said I quit. It's because th this is a game. It's, it's, it's been a game from day one. They want to separate the people out that are obedient and that will say yes sir, no sir, don't ask questions and continue to do the job the way it's always been done without asking any questions. This is what corporate America is founded on. Nothing gets invented in corporate America. It, things are just reused, 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 reused. That's why lawyers that work in corporate America, they don't they don't even use their brain. They just reuse the same documents and the same contracts and the same stuff over and over. And it go, it's not only lawyers, it's every freaking position in corporate America. I'm not trying to offend you. I said a lot of things in here that could offend you and I understand that. Um, by all means, I would love to have a debate if you want to have a debate with me. Um, and talk about these things, but the truth is the truth, and facts are facts. You won't get rich working in corporate America. You won't ever be a business owner by working in corporate America, and chances are you'll be one of the, the old people saying, well, I gotta send my kids to college now. I can't do anything. Don't let that be you. Be a renegade. Take your life into your own hands, which is an honorable thing to do, and, and make your life the way that you want it to be. Peace.